Today, in this experiment, we are going to test the effect a solute has on the freezing point of a solution. This is what you will need. Two beakers, some salt, water, a thermometer, and a freezer. Start by measuring out 50 milliliters of water into each beaker. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt to one of the beakers. Stir the solution. We now have two beakers, one containing a salt water solution and the other is plain water. Label the salt water. Now place both beakers in the freezer for about 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Let's take them out of the freezer. They aren't completely frozen, which is what we wanted. Let's use the thermometer to measure each beaker's temperature. The salt water solution is measuring negative 1 degrees Celsius. The plain water is reading 0 degrees Celsius. That is the freezing point. Now why is the salt water solution colder than the plain water? This is because when a solute is headed to a solvent, the amount of energy that must be removed from the solution increases. Thus it requires a colder temperature to slow the molecules into a solid state. It is like walking a dog. It is easy to stop a dog with a leash, but if you throw a cat in front of the dog, a chase ensues. It is much harder to stop the dog chasing a cat than it is to stop a dog that is just walking. This is the effect a solute has when mixed into a solvent. There is an equation that calculates the freezing point depression, but that is another video. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.